Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Patty. I go by Patty Mac Makes Everywhere Online. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I'm getting myself organized for the new year. I just filmed a video where I went through the contents of just one bin in my craft storage cart and it's kind of shocking how much fabric I pulled out. And the worst part of it is, it's all in there. I've had some of it in there for a couple of years or longer. And I forgot about it. I don't even know what's in there anymore because I can't see it. It's hard to access it. And if you can't see what you have, you wind up going out and buying more. And I want to use what I already have because I have a lot. <laughs> if you want to see all of the pieces that I pulled out of one drawer, I will link over to that video for you when it's ready. Uh, but today, let's just look at uh, a technique that I've seen. You've probably seen it. It's wrapping your fabrics into mini bolts. And I'm really hoping that this will give me back uh, space because it's supposed to make your fabric storage a lot more um, economic or um, just more uh, productive. Uh, you make better use of a small space in other words. Uh, and also it gets it out so that you can see what you have and when you're project planning it's a whole lot easier to go to one place and look at all of your stuff it with one eye and then uh, pull from there to put your things together. I don't know if this makes any sense at all. To be honest, I think I need another cup of coffee. <laughs> okay, so let's just kind of look at the fabric first. Let me show that to you and then I'm going to show you what I bought to help me and then we'll wrap a couple of these things and what I'm going to do is set up to show like a before picture of the pile and an after picture of the pile. And let's see if it really makes that much of a difference. Okay, let's jump in. This is what I picked up. It's called Comic Book Boards. It measures six and three quarters by 10 and a half. It's inexpensive. I got it on Amazon and I'll link it for you below. This was recommended to me by one of my viewers. Uh, she had seen somebody use them. She did them. She really liked them. Uh, I was going to do a method where I saw somebody who cut down uh, foam core boards and used those and I was all set to do that and then uh, she wrote to me and said this is what she had used and I thought well that's a lot easier <laughs> than having to cut all those boards down so uh, and less expensive I might add. So this is a hundred boards so uh, yeah let's go ahead and wrap the fabric and do the stack and see if it's really going to save us a little bit of space because I'm hoping it will. You know I said it was 10 inches tall but then when I put this over here it's actually we'll go with on uh, 10 and a half how about that because that looks closer to 10 and a half to me. All right let's uh let's wrap these puppies and see what we've got.
Okay guys, I've wrapped everything and um, I don't know that it's actually going to save me that much space. We're going to pile it up and measure it again. Uh, but I will tell you this, it really uh, is a lot neater and I can really see what I have. And the exercise of having yourself uh, basically open up and refold and handle every single piece of fabric in your stash is a really good thing because it gets you mindful about what you already have. It gets you mindful about how much you have and uh, just <laughs> opens your eyes to how much is, is sitting in your stash. I was a little shocked. <laughs> So, all right, uh, let's pile it up and measure it and see uh, where we are. Okay, it's the moment of truth. Does wrapping our fabric into mini bolts actually save us space? And I think you're going to be shocked at the answer. <laughs> so, when we started, I used uh, that piece of cardstock because uh, I thought that was a really good visual cue. And uh, just to refresh you, when we started, it was right about the height of the cardstock. And now that I've got everything nice and neat on its little bolt, I'm going to put that same size cardstock in. And oh my word, it grew. <laughs> it's bigger. I mean, it's like, I would say 25% larger. So, uh, I, I didn't expect that. Um... It leaves me a little bit speechless because I thought this was going to save me so much space and uh, it didn't. It actually takes up more space to wrap your fabric. However, I'll say this, it sure looks a heck of a lot better and I can surely see what's in here. And as I get everything done, uh, what I'm going to do is just a little bit here and there wrap all the fabrics. And um, when I get them all wrapped, then I can sort of uh, start putting them together uh, by colors and that type of thing. Um, for right now, we're just going to say this is what was in that lower bin. And I'm going to try to get it back in there until I'm ready to put it onto the uh, storage here on the cart uh, or on the work table. Oh my goodness, that I, I'm in a little bit of a shock. But gosh, you know, it sure does look a lot better and I can see what I have. It's certainly more organized and going through and physically handling and looking at carefully everything I have and realizing how much yardage I have on some of this uh, stuff, that was a good exercise. So it's definitely worthwhile from that standpoint. But if you're looking for something that's going to give you more uh, space or be more efficient, it's not really going to do that. It will get you better organized though, so that's something. That is today's video, and as always, I sure appreciate you watching, and uh, let me know what you think about this fabric wrapping technique. Are we uh, like uh, into the mini bolts, or um, is this not something that you're gonna do? I'm gonna keep going, but I wanna know what you're gonna do. Okay, drop a comment below, let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next video.